Hey everybody, this is the creator and founder of Andre Rose LLC coming to you with your new episode on my YouTube channel. Um, before I actually get into what we're going to talk about tonight, um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot over the Andre Rose LLC uh, promotions that we do have on the site. So right now we are having our summer sizzling sale. Um, that is 30% off, no code necessary. And also, when you do go on the website, make sure you subscribe so you can receive our monthly newsletter um, that I'm going to be dropping every month religiously this time. <laughs> um, I'm going to send those like one to two times a month so everybody can get like a mental health note, just kind of like a reminder or um, if you need to look back on a couple of things to, you know, to help you with your journey as you're going through these crazy weeks. Um, but we've made it. We're almost to fall. It's already the end of August. So September um, should be very interesting. Um, my kids go back to school. Um, a lot of the kids already went back to school around the country. Um, so I hope you guys have a blessed school year, a safe school year. And you guys, by the time you know it, you'll be back out in the summer. <laughs> Um, but let's get started. Um, I'm not going to make this too long today. So I wanted to talk about um, something that's really been surrounding. I've actually been dealing with it um, myself, um, but it's, it's something that a lot of people tend to deal with or people have to deal with these kind of people. And I am referring to if you ever felt like you're talking to like a brick wall, you're most likely dealing with a narcissistic person. <laughs> and I wanted to go over all the characteristics to look for when you are dealing with a person on the narcissistic spectrum. Not necessarily 100% because there's some people who do have characteristics of a narcissist, um, but are not like a full-blown narcissist. But it's something to keep a watch for. They're like the secret shadows of the of the world um, that walk among us. So I wanted to kind of like dip into that. Now, before I do get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, um, and hit the notification bar, well, notification bell, um, so you can be notified when we do have new videos. So let's get started. So um, basically, I'm going to give you guys a list of things you should look out for. Um, anytime you're dealing with like a narcissistic person, and I mean, a, it's awful. Like if you're in a relationship with someone, I really need you guys to pay attention to the first phase left first phases of the relationship because this is where a lot of people get dragged and they don't even know it yet. So the first phase is the love bombing stage. Oh, the cute stage. This is the fun part. When you first start with someone that's new, you're excited. It's a good time. Like you really like the person. The person likes you or portrays that they like you. Um, but behind the scenes, they sometimes have a motive for the relationship. It could be just something that's going to please them, like give them a desire. So you want to make sure you're looking out for how they act in the beginning, because that's where a lot of people get sucked in. I'm an empathic person and us empaths, we get hit bad. Like we get hit really bad. So, <laughs> um, you know, when someone is just so genuinely sweet and, you know, they, they're giving you their attention and it just, it seems great at first, right? So also this works with friendships too. Friendships, friends are just like, you know, like they're all gung-ho. They're like, oh yeah, let's hang out and stuff. And they're super friendly. They want to hang out with you. Same thing for family members. You're my favorite niece, nephew, cousin, uncle, sister, brother, daughter, son. 
And, you know, you think everything is good, you know, like everything is good. But then as time evolves, we're going to move into the next phase where this gets a little bit complicated. So let's say now we're in phase two um, in a relationship and you guys are just like starting to get comfortable with each other. Um this is where you have to pay attention because this is where a lot of issues start to arise and you have no clue. So this is where you start to learn a person's personality, whether, again, it's a relationship, friendship, or family member. So you know how they kind of like, you know, how they work, how they tick, you know, they're starting to show you like their ways. But then there's going to be that one time and it only takes one time and they're gonna show their behind to you and you need to pay attention because what they tend to do is when you start to realize there's a problem and you want to talk about the problem they make it as though the problem is you not them you and what will happen is what they'll turn the conversation you can have a full-blown conversation your significant other your friend or family member hey you did something you know wrong and i wanted to talk to you well let's talk about what you did wrong but no we're talking about what you did wrong this is what you did wrong well no we're going to talk about what you did wrong that right there is the power of gaslighting and manipulation. Guys, please pay attention to this because this is where a lot of people lose themselves. And it's very scary because this is where the narcissistic person starts to try to devalue who you are. It's like you're talking to a brick wall, like you talk about the issues that you're having with this person and it's like they pivot the whole conversation. You can sit here and talk for a whole hour and what will happen is they'll, they'll shift the conversation right back to you and say, well, we're going to talk about what you do wrong. And you're just like, whoa, wait a minute. We're talking about what's going on with you. So why are we talking about me? This isn't about me. This is about you. And they'll start to turn the whole conversation about you. And that's where people start to lose themselves because then they start thinking something's wrong with them and there is nothing wrong with them. It's the other person. And a lot of people tend to do that. And you guys have to pay attention to that and you need to find techniques. Um, I'll give you guys a couple of um, good tips at the end of the video on what to do. But this is what narcissistic people do. They find their supply, okay, their supply, and what they tend to do is they latch on like a leech a little bit, you know, kind of suck it in, you know, start, they start small, and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger as they suck onto you. And as soon as they get you in the grass where they feel like, this person can't live without me. I can manipulate this person to do what I want and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Then the hardest part happened. They discard you. <laughs> they discard you. They drop you like a hot potato. And you were just like, whoa, like what just happened? Like we were just, whoa, I just profound, I just professed my love to this person and all of a sudden they disappear. And why do they disappear and break up with you? Because while they were devaluing you, while they were devaluing you, they were working on getting someone else, aka the new supply, and they were getting them ready because that person knew that they were getting ready to get rid of you. So they discard you. 
and then they move into new supply and then you're left brokenhearted and it is the worst feeling ever. And honestly, I've dealt with this already. And that's why I want to share my knowledge with you because I just feel like there's so many narcissists walking among us now. People are so selfish. They have no soul. They literally have no emotion. Please pay attention to that with narcissistic people. They have no emotion. And I mean, zero, zip zip. They can sit here and tell you that they're crying their eyes out. And then you're like, oh, well, I'm crying too. And then all of a sudden they say, well, I want to see you cry. What you mean you want to see me cry? Why do you want to see me cry for? Pay attention to those things because these people are dangerous people. And Sometimes like when you have like, for example, family members, when you have to deal with certain people in your family, you have to learn techniques on how to deal with these kind of people because unfortunately, narcissistic people exist in families and we sometimes can't do nothing about it, you know? So what better thing to do than to find a solution to, you know, Pivoted so that way your your peace and your energy is not bothered. So I need you guys to pay attention as the times go on because we in some dark times right now, and a lot of people are very selfish. Um, they don't like to help each other anymore. It's the kind of world we're living in is a very scary one. So you know, narcissistic people are like again, the walking shadows of the world, you will not notice that in the beginning because they put on a mask and the mask is just so good. You know, it's just like, oh, this person loves me. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, they're not cheating on me. They're not doing... You have to start being open with yourself because they <laughs> they are there. They got that mask on. It's like, it's like sucked on their face and they will not tell you what their real motives are. So you really got to start digging deep and soul searching into people because they will not tell you unless you figure it out. Trust me, I've dealt with this before and I have never, never knew what a narcissist was until I educated myself and I now am such a pro. I am such a pro at like dodging people. And mind you, I mean, I have my, my bachelor's in behavioral science and I'm pretty sure we covered this in college, but you know, now I'm like an expert expert pro and I know exactly what to do in a situation like that. You start to notice these behaviors, the love bombing. Oh, you're so wonderful. You're the best thing that I ever had. You're the best cousin. You're the best friend. And all of a sudden, a couple months go by, here comes a problem. You know, you're like, hey, hey, such and such. Um, can we talk a minute? I have an issue that I need to talk to you. Oh, well, I need to talk to you because you have an issue too. You know, pay attention to that stuff. People, people are doing this. And this is why a lot of people are having issues with their mental health because of things like this, because of not knowing the not the unknown. The unknown is what is really the surface of everything and why a lot of people kind of get caught up and then their mental health starts to deflate all the way down. And it's because of not knowing how people work and not knowing the signs that this person could potentially be a narcissist and sometimes narcissistic people can become sociopaths. You got to watch out for these people. <laughs> they can be sociopaths. They can be 
crazy people like you just you have to watch out for these signs and you want to always make sure that you protect yourself it is very imperative that you protect yourself protect your peace protect your mental health protect your energy vibration all of that you just need to make sure when you're dealing with people you need to make sure that you look out for these signs because unfortunately this is what kind of world we're living in i wanted to make this video because i wanted to inform everybody and i'm sure there's thousands of videos on youtube with this so i'm just one of the additions if you want to watch my video um to bring awareness to narcissistic people they exist they really do. They exist. And unfortunately, we have to deal with it. And that's what we have to do. We have to deal with people that are like that. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and give you some tips. So if you are dealing with someone who wants to shift the conversation, if you have an issue with something that the other person's doing, aka the narcissist, and they try to shift the conversation over to you, End the conversation. That's it. End the conversation and walk away. If you are in a relationship and you are starting to feel like this person is a master manipulator, where this person is trying to make you do something you don't want to do, and if you don't do it, they, they either make threats or they say degrading things to you, leave the relationship. Leave it now. Like now because it's going to get worse. And honestly, ladies and fellas, that's where domestic violence starts to happen. So if that tends to happen where they are degrading you and you are like refusing to deal with it and then you decide to deal with it, that's when the master manipulation can turn into something that you don't want it to. So, you know, you want to make sure that you make the right decision on whether or not you want to deal with it. Now, for my people that want to deal with it now, you need to learn how to ignore certain things um, when it comes to words, actions, demands, because they are demanding. Oh, they want you to do what they want you to do. And if you don't do it, oh, you ain't beep, beep, beep. And that's why you are this, that, and this. And you'll never be this, that, and this. And they just be, they just be trying to pump you, pump you, pump you, pump you, make you feel bad just because you didn't want to do what they wanted to do. So, you know, for those who want to stick around for that, you got to grow some tough skin. This is where I got to be real, you know, real thorough right now. You got to grow some tough skin. And what you have to do is you have to ignore everything that they're saying to you. And you just say, okay, okay. I'm still not doing it though, but okay. And you walk away and you just continue your day. I swear <laughs> that has been that actually helps a lot when I come into face to face with narcissistic people. I never let my emotions slide anymore. When I know that I'm dealing with like a potential narcissistic person, I never wear my heart on my sleeve anymore. I used to be that like that empath, like you know, like that empath that's just so lovable, you know, just you know, just want to love everybody, but you can love everybody, but you have to watch out for the signs and just don't wear your heart on your sleeve because that's when they take advantage of you. So you want to make sure that when you coming across these people, you got that tough skin. You on the phone with somebody. I think I mentioned this in my self-care tip videos on my Instagram. If somebody is getting on your nerves and it's like a narcissistic person and you just can't take the conversation anymore. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. <laughs> I gotta go. Hang up the phone. <laughs> That's it. Hang up the phone. Don't hang on the line any longer than you need to be on the line. If you feel like the conversation's going left, you go right and you hang the phone up. Don't even engage. And if they ask why, you don't even give them an explanation. You just continue on with your day. Because what tends to happen is... When you respond back, the narcissist 
it gets the power. Like, yeah, I got the power. Like, she is answering me. She's answering me. And that's what you don't want them to get. So, you know, you want to make sure that you guys are protecting yourselves out there, especially with these narcissistic walking shadow people with the mask on. They will not tell you who they are until you figure it out. And when they, when they, fig, when they figure that you figured it out, that's when they try to destroy you. But if you don't figure it out, what will happen is you're going to come through a lot of heartbreak and it's going to be very bad, like very bad, very bad. So you want to make sure that you're educating yourself before getting into another relationship. You wanna make sure you are protecting yourself, especially your emotions, your emotions, your mental health. That's the first thing that you need to think about. You know, get to know somebody, see what their flaws are, hear what they have to say, learn about their past, learn about their childhood. That's a big one. Learn about their childhood and you, will unlock whether or not you are dealing with a narcissistic person with that information, whether it's childhood, uh, adolescent, young adult. Once you learn about somebody and how they were brought up, then that's when you're like, oh, that's why they're like that. And then that's when you start to get a tactic. Okay, this is what I need to do. If I want to stay in this relationship with this person, this is what I need to do if this person gets out of line. Or friend or family member. Okay, well, I knew that my cousin grew up like this. Brother, sister grew up like this. Mom, dad grew up like this. All right, well, I know exactly what I need to do. If I don't feel like the conversation's going right, I have the right to hang up the phone. I have the right to end the conversation. You need to stand up for yourself. That's the most important thing you have to do is stand up for yourself. Even when you feel like you can't, you got to pick that leg up, pick those legs up, Pick those arms up and put that head high and you need to stand up for yourself. If you guys need any more information about narcissism, narcissistic anything, um, again, um, I can find a couple pages I'll leave below um, and you guys can read more about it so you can educate yourself like I educated myself and now I know how to do it like a pro, okay? <laughs> I am a pro narcissist blocker, so... You know, I want you guys to, I just want you guys to be prepared because we are, we are in the dark times right now. So, um, again, um, I'll leave some resources below and then also, um, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Um, and again, make sure you visit our Andre Rose LLC site. Um, again, this is your girl Lee creator and founder of Andre Rose LLC. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.